Hello everyone, this is Miranda Allison doing my persuasive speech for Communications 101R. The right to die with dignity. I would rather die a meaningful death than live a meaningless life. Kirazan Aquino. By now there are many of you who have probably heard of Brittany Maynard. Brittany Maynard is a beautiful, 29-year-old, adventurous newlywed who is recently being featured in the October 27th issue of People Magazine. Now, People Magazine has done a great job of painting Brittany as the beautiful, amazing, adventurous, fun-loving woman that she is. Brittany has climbed to the summit of Africa's Mount Kilimanjaro. She's been ice climbing in Ecuador and kayaking in Patagonia. But despite Brittany's amazing life adventures, this is not what she is known for. Instead, when she was diagnosed with stage 4 brain cancer and given only 6 months to live, Brittany decided to make the controversial move from her home in California to the state of Oregon, where as a terminally ill patient, they allow her to exercise the right to die by taking a lethal dose of medication, which is prescribed to her by a doctor. Now this has sparked a national and controversial debate about whether or not we should allow our terminally ill patients this same choice all throughout the United States. Now, what exactly is a terminal illness? Well, the Webster Dictionary defines a terminal illness as an illness which cannot be cured and that will soon lead to death. In 1997 in Oregon, a law was passed called the Death with Dignity Act, which allows physicians to aid their terminally ill patients in ending their suffering early. This is done by prescribing a lethal dose of medication, which the terminally ill patient can then decide to take at any time throughout their illness. Now, since its inception in 1997, this law has proven over time to be both safe and, in most cases, to be used as intended. Now, what do I mean by used as intended? Well, this law is not meant to be used as a form of suicide, but is meant to be used as a form of ending the suffering of terminally ill patients early. You must qualify in order to use the Death with Dignity Act. In order to qualify, you must be over the age of 18 years old, so you must be an adult to make this type of decision. You must be diagnosed by a doctor as being terminally ill, again, an illness which cannot be cured and that will soon lead to death. And a doctor must also verify that you are mentally capable of making these type of decisions. Being suicidal or depressed or having a mental disorder is different than being hurt and sad and scared that you've been diagnosed with a terminal illness. So they try to make sure that they do not have a mental disorder um, in order to use the Death with Dignity Act. Now, the Death with Dignity Act is 100% voluntary. You do not ever have to take the medication, even if you have had the prescription written and even if you have filled that prescription. It is 100% up to the patient whether or not they decide to actually take the medication. The Oregon Public Health Division keeps track of all of the terminally ill patients who do decide to take their medication. Out of the 122 people in 2013 who had these prescriptions written out to them, only 71 of these people decided to take this medication and end their own life. Now the remaining people have either died of their own um, terminal illness or they are still deciding to live out their final days and not take their medication. Either way, it is their choice whether or not to take the medication, and it is never forced upon them by the doctor or the state. Now, I'm not advocating suicide by any means, but I am advocating the choice to be given to these people throughout the United States. Brittany Maynard had had her life turned upside down already by having to hear that she only had six months to live but then to have to uproot her family, her husband, her mother, and her stepfather, and move them to Oregon was a change that did not have to be made. Only five states out of our 50 in the United States offer the Death with Dignity Act or something comparable. Uh, Oregon, Washington, New Mexico, Vermont, and Montana are the only states which have this type of laws in place. Now, a lot of people believe that taking one's own life is wrong. But Brittany Maynard doesn't want to die. She is literally quoted as saying, I don't want to die, but I am dying. And she sees this as a more humane way of dying than what was described to her by her doctors about how her terminal illness would eventually take her in the end. 
Now, the Academy of American Family Physicians lists um, a few of the common symptoms which terminally ill patients face. Terminally ill patients can face fatigue, pain, vomiting, anorexia, cachexia, nausea, diarrhea, delirium, and dyspnea. Also, in cases such as cachexia, even if the illness is cured, and I hope that it is, um, these can be irreversible. Cachexia is the wasting away of the body due to um, malnutrition or other symptoms such as anorexia, and it is irreversible once it happens. Your body is already damaged and it remains damaged even if your illness subsides. Now, a lot of people wonder, why would someone want to end their own life? Why would they not want to fight until their final days? Well, again, the Oregon Public Health Division likes to keep track of the most common reasons why people decide to take the medication to end their own life. The three most common concerns by terminally ill patients are the loss of autonomy, so the loss of being able to make decisions for themselves and being able to care for themselves, not being able to do the activities that you love, those daily activities. Some of these terminally ill patients are not even able to get out of bed. They can't go walk to the window. They can't take walks outside. So a reduced quality of life is very important to terminally ill patients and something to consider. And also the loss of dignity, which is why a lot of these um, acts are called the Death with Dignity Act. Now there are some things that I want you to remember when forming your own opinion on the Death with Dignity Act. Um, this is only for terminally ill patients. This is not for healthy people who are suicidal or want to die. You have to be diagnosed with an illness that cannot be cured and that will soon lead to death. You cannot have a mental disorder and be able to make this type of decision. Being suicidal and depressed is not the same as being sad, hurt, or confused that you've just been diagnosed with a terminal illness. This is 100% voluntary. Even if you have the prescription in your hand and filled, you are never under any obligation to take the prescription. It is 100% your choice. A lot of these terminally ill patients will have a reduced quality of life, and that is why a lot of them decide to take this medication. I think it's important that we allow the terminally ill patients to make that choice for themselves about whether or not that quality of life is worth living and worth fighting for. I do not advocate the death of terminally ill patients. I only advocate that they have the choice because even the choice alone can be comforting to a lot of these terminally ill patients that they can end their suffering at any time if it becomes too much for them. So just the choice can help. Uh, before I go, I would like all of you guys to go and visit deathwithdignity.org so that you can donate funds if you choose to do so, learn what you can do to get the Death with Dignity Act in your area, or have educated discussions with your families and friends. They have a lot of great resources which explains the Death with Dignity Act, both as a terminally ill patient or as a family member who's just trying to understand why a terminally ill patient might want to do that. I hope you've uh, learned a little bit from me today about the Death with Dignity Act, and I'm really looking forward to hearing your opinions about what you think on this topic. I hope you guys have a great week, and I'm looking forward to hearing what you guys have for your persuasive speeches. Have a great afternoon.